Hi, my name is Jim Flynn, and it is my great honor to be the uh, chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Simsbury Free Library. And on behalf of uh, all of us at the Free Library, our trustees, our staff, our members, I would like to welcome you to this uh, celebration of Simsbury Library Day. I'd like to uh, thank our friends at the Public Library for providing facilities and uh, this wonderful slideshow. And uh, I'd like to thank some of our government officials who are here today, State Senator Lisa Seminara, Assembly Representative Melissa Osborne, and of course from the uh, Simsbury Board of Selectmen, Heather Getz. The Simsbury Free Library has been in continuous service since 1874. So this is our 150th anniversary. Now to put 1874 in a little bit of perspective, Ulysses S. Grant was the president. <laughs> there were 37 states in the union and the population of Simsbury, as best I can figure, was about 2,200. In that year of 1874, a man named Amos R. Eno, a son of Simsbury who had made lots of money in New York real estate, established a charitable trust, which exists today, for the purpose of bringing a free library to Simsbury. In those days, most libraries were subscription libraries, you had to pay your dues, etc. but he wanted it to be free. Since 1890, the free library has operated out of our beautiful Colonial Revival building down the road at 749 Hot Meadow Street, next to the cemetery. You've probably passed it many times. I'd like to call it the gracious yellow lady on Hot Meadow Street. If you haven't been to the library, I'd urge you, I'd urge you to come. Uh, because in spite of the fact that it is 135 years old, structurally it's in great shape. Unfortunately, um, the years have kind of taken their toll. So we're in uh, pretty dire need of some uh, modernization, rehabilitation, et cetera, especially to our, our lower level. We'd like to make it more accessible and have the resources to do even more programming. And to that end, we've kicked off a uh, 150th anniversary capital campaign. And uh, anything you could do to help us in that regard would be most appreciated. If you haven't been to the Free Library lately, or, God forbid, you've never been to the Free Library, I'd invite you to join us. Uh, come in and check on your own genealogy, maybe do some historical research, attend one of our programs, look at our exhibits, visit the Martin Luther King in Connecticut Memorial, which is on our grounds, or just come in to say hello. Now, I think there's no doubt that Simsbury is a very special town, has a lot going for it. I think there are a lot of towns in Connecticut that can uh, say that, well, we have a wonderful library. Here in Simsbury, because of the generosity of Amos R. Eno 150 years ago, we can top that because we have two. So with that, I'd like to uh, introduce um, Representative Osborne and State Senator Seminara for a reading of a proclamation. Can people hear me through this? Yes? Okay. And I have to take my glasses off for this because I may not have been born in 1874, but more years ago than I would care to remember. Um, and this is a citation from the state of Connecticut. It's signed by Martin Looney, uh, Speaker of the House Matt Ritter, and Secretary of the State Stephanie Thomas. And it's from the entire General Assembly, um, and specifically from myself and from Senator Seminara. Um, and we are delighted to be here today to celebrate the, um, the 150th anniversary of having libraries in Simsbury. Uh, one of the really unique things about Simsbury, I'm not going to say unique, I, hometown pride, but one of the hallmarks of Simsbury is this thirst for knowledge and this focus on education and learning. 
Um, and there's such vibrancy here in both of our library systems. Um, if you want to do any genealogy, as Jim says, or if you want to look at the gorgeous art displays or uh, learn from any of the incredible uh, periodicals or books or um, audio, video, visual um, that we have here in the library, uh, there's no better place to do it than Simsbury. So with that, um, I will read this and then Senator Seminar will we'll make her remarks. It just says that uh, this is in the record, be it hereby known to all that the Connecticut General Assembly hereby offers its sincerest congratulations to uh, the Simsbury Library Day, which is today, in recognition of the Simsbury Free Library being established as an independent entity by Mr. Amos Eno in 1874, and for the past century and a half remaining steadfast in its mission to promote research, education, and civic engagement. In 1985, the Simsbury Public Library was established from the Simsbury Free Library. We thank you for your contribution to the cultural and intellectual life of Simsbury. The entire membership extends its very best wishes on this memorable occasion and expresses the hope for continued success given this fifth day of October. So congratulations and thank you, Jim, and thank you, Tara, uh, and thank you, Lisa, who is the the head of the Simsbury Public Library. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see where she is. Uh, thank you for all you do to continue to have these incredible institutions available for us here in Simsbury. Um, we're grateful for all the work that you volunteer to put into this. Uh, Simsbury would not be the town it is without its amazing volunteers. So thank you very much. And I'll just briefly echo the words of Rep Osborne libraries are an incredible important parts of our communities and certainly the simsbury library system is extremely vibrant offering many many things and uh, helping your community and making it a place where all can gather for a multitude of reasons and especially today for ice cream so i will not go drone on other than to say <laughs> congratulations and enjoy your afternoon here thank you and uh, next on behalf of the uh town of simsbury board of selectmen heather gets proclamation here to read um, on behalf of the town and our first selectman, Wendy Maxudis, who is unable to be here today. Um, so I will begin with, whereas the Simsbury Free Library was established as an independent legal entity by Mr. Amos R. Eno in 1874 to provide a community resource for the citizens of Simsbury and Whereas, and whereas in 1890, Mr. Eno donated the land and building at 749 Hop Meadow Street, where the Simsbury Free Library has been in continuous operation, initially serving as a, circulate, as a circulating public library and since 1985 as a research library specializing in genealogy and history and as a community center. And whereas over the past century and a half, the Simsbury Free Library has remained steadfast in its mission to promote research, education, and civic engagement, offering a variety of programs and services. And whereas in 1985, the town responded to its rapidly growing population and increased library demand by establish, establishing at 725 Hop Meadow, Hop Meadow Street, the municipality owned and operated Simsbury Public Library, which grew out of the Simsbury Free Library and was significantly expanded in 2008. And whereas the Simsbury Public Library welcomes over 300,000 visitors per year, has won numerous awards for excellence and has achieved national recognition. And whereas the 150th anniversary of the Simsbury Free Library marks a fitting occasion to reflect upon the outstanding contributions of both institutions to the cultural and intellectual life of Simsbury. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the first selectman hereby proclaimed October 5th as Simsbury Library Day in commemoration of the opening of the Simsbury Free Library and the Simsbury Public Library. And um, we have one of these for 
um, the Simsbury Free Library and the Simsbury Public Library. Um, and I would just like to say 18 years ago when my husband and I were looking at towns to live in, uh, we were advised by a friend to always look at the library when you're looking at towns because um, a town that values its library is usually a town that just is a great place to live and, and really um, has high standards and values as a community and as their residents. So um, standing here 18 years later, it was the best advice we had received when we were looking for a home. <laughs> and with that, um, I would just like to say enjoy your ice cream. <laughs> Thank you, Heather. And again, thank you very much for coming. I think the ice cream will be coming up shortly, so uh, enjoy it. Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.